So it's very, very, very difficult for any undergraduate to ace the art of diagnosis or looking into a microscope in the second year of MBBS. MedWars primarily was for 3D anatomy models and everything, right? Everything required for you to ace the exam will be here. Let's bring learning easy, learning fun and learning relatable. That's what you're going to see in this video. Slides, the cornerstone of diagnosing things in pathology. But for an undergraduate, especially the first and second year MBBS, it's a nightmare. It's very, very difficult to understand and correlate what the teacher is talking and what you're looking into the microscope. At the end of the day, it's going to look like this. The teacher will say it's a dysplastic gland, looks the same. Normal gland, looks the same. Hamartoma, which we don't even know what is hamartoma, but still looks the same. They'll say it's a keratin pearl, looks the same. They say it's a samoma body, <laughs> looks the same, right? So it's very, very, very difficult for any undergraduate to ace the art of diagnosis or looking into a microscope in the second year of MBBS. So what we thought was, why don't we come up with a solution here? The standard solution obviously is this, right? The number on the slide, the name on the slide, which will be in the form of a PDF circulated amongst your peers. That has been the standard solution from the time I have been doing MBBS and from the time immemorial. So we thought that we have to do something good for us. Let's bring learning easy, learning fun and learning relatable. That's what you're going to see in this video. If you're first time here, click on the subscribe button. I'm Dr. Ranjit, your pathology faculty at PW Medit. Let's learn pathology and medicine as a whole. So what is the solution? So what we thought initially was, okay, let's draw a neat diagram. Okay, an amazing gland. But still, in the microscope, it looks like a kitchen only. We cannot do anything regarding that. Let's give amazing high resolution photographs. Not able to relate. Then it's thought, how about if we give the same experience of you guys sitting in the lab, looking into the microscope, zooming in, zooming out, in your palm of your hand, in the form of digitized slides. And that's what led us to the innovation and that we have been happy to announce that it's in the PW Meta app, that digital slides of pathology. As of now, we have limited slides. We'll be increasing the number of slides slowly and steadily. That's the cornerstone behind it. If there is a problem in learning and we have to address it, if you're not seen it, let's go, let's explore the PW Meta app, right? So what we have done in the Meta app is, if you go into the Meta app, be it in the desktop or in the mobile phone, you must have seen this, the Faraday the clinical corner and Medverse. Medverse primarily was for 3D anatomy models and everything, right? So if it's carefully looked at it recently, it also will say it's not just the 3D model, it also has slides. So what does that exactly mean? If you click on the Medverse 3D slides, if you look at this pathology as of now, like I said, it is a limited number of slides. You will have more and more slides coming in future. Everything required for you to ace the exam will be here. What does that mean? Click on that. Let's see what happens. You click on that. It will be categorized as inflammation, RBC disorders, WBC disorders, and look at this. WBC disorders we have, and cardiovascular system, everything like that, right? So the goal here is very, very simple. For us to give a very immersive learning experience, and the same way you are looking into the microscope, or the teacher is showing you in the microscope in the real life, you can have it in the palm of your hand, like I said. Let's go and explore if it's really useful or just, just gimmicks as usual, fine. Uh, like if you click, it's an aplastic anemia. Everyone knows about aplastic anemia. It's an anemia where the bone marrow is going to fail primarily. You have all the dry tap and everything. And microscope, you must have remember that fat will be replacing the bone marrow space. Let's see. Click on the slide of aplastic anemia. This is a perfect bone marrow biopsy. The entire bone marrow biopsy of an aplastic anemia. If we zoom in, you can zoom in like a normal microscope. That's the bone. Do you remember seeing that in the first year? Look at the lamellations. That's a perfect bone. That's a bony trabeculae. And this here is the bone marrow space. So the entire bone marrow space is clear. Clear means empty. I'm sure you know that, right? It's an entire clear bone marrow space filled with fat. That helps me in diagnosing aplastic anemia. So hereafter, you need not go to Google and just see one image of aplastic anemia where you can see the entire slide. This is how it looks. Not just that, it's marked for our ease and convenience of learning. Okay, this entire thing is a bony trabeculae. And this is a bone marrow space replaced by fat. Understood? Let's go and explore one more thing. Just to make sure that it's comfortable and it's relatable. Beta thalassemia major. I'm sure you must have seen beta thalassemia majors. You must have studied about that. Lots of PYQs, lots of IBQs come with respect to beta thalassemia major, right? But just seeing one target cell in a random MCQ or a random exam, I'm not able to identify the same target cell if it comes in a, in a real life exam or an EPG or a university exam because they have a subtle variation that is sorted here. Look at this. If you zoom this image, 
is a classical picture of peripheral smear image of beta thalassemia. It's marked exactly. So it's not just to see the finding, it's to revise the finding as well. Look at this. A microspherocyte due to membrane damage. It's also written why it is present there. A poikilocyte, a variation in the shape of the RBC. This is not the normal shape of the RBC, right? Obviously, it is not, right? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Where is it? Okay. Target cells, it's not just target cells, the other name codocytes is written. It's seen in thalassemia, sickle, and severe iron deficiency anemia. So it's a compilation of information required for you in the form of a like a playing game, right? Just zoom in wherever you want. You can see multiple target cells. See, here is a target cell, here is a target cell, though it's not marked. I'm sure you'll be able to identify most of the target cells here in the microscopic image, right? Obviously, you, you will easily say it's a pale cell, right? Okay, let's go. There's one more finding. Ah, amazing. I have a nucleated RBC. NRBC seen in hemolytic anemia and leukoerythroblastic blood picture, right? So this is what the immersive slide learning experience is about. Like I said, we'll be adding almost everything required for you to understand the form of slides. So no more looking at the labels. Yeah, that will come handy in the last exam, the minute before the exams. But you can diagnose everything required. You can actually swim through the slides, required whatever is required for us. We can definitely learn about it. Let's look at hypersegmented neutrophils, right? Mostly hypersegmented neutrophils are something which are learned repeatedly again and again and again. Look at the beauty. Look at the number of lobes. Easily all the three of them have more than five lobes. Perfect. You can actually relate what you're going to learn coming back into the digital slide section. Let's go and explore a few more. Actually, this is one of my favorite, Chidiakiyashi syndrome. Though we've not seen many cases of Chidiakiyashi syndrome, but it's a very amazing and very, very unique finding. If you look at this finding, you have the WBC. Inside the WBC, I am sure you can see these granules or the abnormal granules in the WBCs. That's actually a very, very specific finding of Chidiakiyashi syndrome. There's a PYQ as well. So hereafter, there's no need to worry just for your, uh, preparing the final attempt for the IBQ in the form of a tiny session. Learn as you go. Second year, learn, see the slides, reinforce the concepts, never forget it. That's the entire goal of the digital slides. Let's go back once again. Let's see, let's go to one WBC disorder. We're just hanging on to RBC disorders. Let's go to WBC disorder. Guys, CLL? CLL is obviously one which I'm sure you must have definitely seen and learnt and also memorized a lot. Look at this, that's a smut cell. Not just one, one more smut cell. One more smut cell, one more, one, here, one more smut cell. So smut cell is just a destroyed WBC, that's all, right? It actually is written, smut cell is due to a loss of Vimentin. That's a PYQ which came in the exam. So it's an abundant source of information there. Whenever you're feeling bored, go back, click at the slides, zoom in. Whenever you have day before the exam, go back, click at the slides, revise them. Whenever you feel like I'm too much reading theory, I want something to be interactive and something like gaming like an experience, maybe hide the heading and just see how we, if you can diagnose something or not, right? Let's see if you can go to one more case. Um, <laughs> ah, let's go to atherosclerosis. Let's see if it comes. Okay, perfect. So this is the entire wall of the vessel. And if you look at this, this is the intima which has been thickened completely due to a clear area. That's a fat deposition, right? Acellular pink area, which is a sort of necrotic area. Because if you remember, atherosclerosis is a necrotic core. Necrosis with lots and lots of foamy macrophages. Do we have the foamy macrophages? Yeah, obviously we do have the foamy macrophages, which are cells with a clear cytoplasm. So the goal is to learn. The goal is to know the difference. The goal is to excel. For that, I always feel that visual memory helps us a lot. IOT dissection is something which every undergraduate kind of gets confused. Where is exactly the blood going? Look at this. You have the tunica media, right? You have the tunica media. You have blood dissecting between the tunica media. You will never have a doubt again how to differentiate aneurysm versus a dissection. Dissection is dissecting between the layers of tunica media of the iota, right? That's what the digital slide is there to offer for you. I hope you guys will enjoy. I hope I also will enjoy marking more slides and giving more slides to you. Let's make pathology learning great forever. If you have any doubts, put it in the comment section. And if you want any slide, put it in the comment section as well. If I have some of them, I'll definitely upload it in the PW Meta app. And do not forget to use this feature and give us suggestions to improve. See you soon. Till then, bye-bye from Dr. Anjit. Bye-bye.